Hey everyone, God bless you, and thanks a lot for tuning in. I have a reflection for you today that I'm entitling Down with Disney. Mmm, swallow that. The entertainment industry is not what it used to be. When I was young, which was a bloody long time ago, I even heard then, nonstop, and I believed it, uh, that the news media was corrupt <clears throat> and was always pushing kind of a left-wing agenda on America, etc., etc. That's true. I've never doubted that. It's been my experience. Most people I know and love have thought that <laughs> my whole life. But the entertainment industry, that's different. Uh, the entertainment industry, taking Disney as its uh, greatest and most famous expression, has truly taken a massive downward turn in such a way that uh, Walt Disney is no doubt turning over in his grave as the entertainment industry has uh, been deeply corrupted and cooperates now uh, with our secularist public school system in the uh, indoctrination of our children in every passing fad and soul-corrupting ideology. This is a great sadness. It's like a, a fire hose of propaganda. We see this everywhere. Uh, we see this in the news. We see this in many of our political representatives talking about democracy. <laughs> like in my, uh, my home district, Congressman Adam Schiff, for instance, listening to him talk about his great defense of de democracy while constantly working against democracy. Very difficult to... Uh, maintain a hopeful disposition uh, when your face is being blasted by grotesque propaganda at all times, not just from the news media and many of our politicians, but from the entertainment industry and from the once uh, deeply loved and cherished Disney Corporation. I recently read an article uh, by Matt Walsh of the Daily Wire. I've enjoyed Matt for many years, back when he used to do little videos from his car when he was driving around. He had his blog. Matt's a very courageous man and articulate. I've uh, enjoyed him, and I recently read an article that he wrote about the corruption of Disney, which uh, really grieved me. He pulled together many facts and figures about uh, Disney's fall. Disney has, uh, with many other major entertainment venues, thoroughly embraced uh, the sexual revolution and is resolved to shove it down our children's throats, to fully capture their minds uh, and slime them, literally slime them with uh, all sorts of anti-religious, anti-Christian uh, teachings and outlooks. Matt reviewed in his article uh, one of the most popular cartoons for, date, for kids today called Paw Patrol. And its newest writer, he researched one of the newest writers on Paw Patrol who makes all sorts of creepy videos about abortion and transgenderism for kids through cartoons. Because that's what our kids really near, need to hear about is transgenderism and abortion. Promoting homosexuality, non-binary nonsense, explicitly advocating to the youngest through cartoons uh, the most vile aspects of the sexual revolution. Disney uh, is making propaganda films for communist China. I did not know that. That was a, an amazing fact to find out. Although it does make sense, <laughs> it does make sense. Uh, the journalist Chris Rufo uh, published video of uh, Disney's corporate president, a woman named Carrie Burke, on video saying this. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually, one transgender child and one pansexual child. We have many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories, and, and yet we don't have enough leads. I support many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. Many, many. Oh, yes. She wants a minimum of 50% characters of LGBT and racial minorities. 
And that would be the president of the Disney Corporation. She was praised, uh, her advocacy for the sexual revolution in Disney's material, targeting our children, was praised by homosexual activist groups like GLAAD, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation. They have noticed her work and praised Disney's radical activism. You know, if, you're, if you are an entertainment company and you are being praised by GLAAD, certainly you should be despised by the vast majority of people. GLAAD is a radical activist group who uh, embrace perversion and want it established as normalcy in the world. They are full-blown sexual anarchists, full-blown sexual anarchists. Thank God Disney this last year had its worst stock drop in its history, 48 years uh, on the uh, in, on the stock market and its worst return lost something like a billion dollars. Thank God for attacking faith and morals. I really think that what we need is something called, not glad, we don't want to be participating with glad, we want something called rad. The religious alliance against defamation. Because it's these groups that are attacking Jesus Christ, that are attacking Christianity, that are attacking traditional religion of all sorts, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism. These groups have no respect for traditional religious commitments at all. And they are defaming us by not just teaching immorality to our children, but stigmatizing people who believe and follow Jesus, people who are traditionally religious, stigmatizing us as uh, hateful people, people who aren't committed to human flourishing, prejudiced. You know, I had a, an experience some years ago, which uh, I've never forgotten. I received a note, um, a request to come and meet our public uh, superintendent for schools. And uh, so I went to his office uh, to meet with him, and I had heard very, very good things about him. And In fact, when I did meet him, I liked him very much. And he asked me, he said, Father, uh, I know you have a lot of children. Uh, and I don't know, maybe this was 15 years ago now. And he said to me, how many have we educated? Meaning how many have been in our public school system? And I said, that would be zero, my friend, zero. And he said, why is that? I said, why would I put my children... Uh, into your system when on every junior high and high school campus in the district, you have a, an organization sponsored by the school called the Gay Straight Alliance that has as its goal to stigmatize me and all pastors and traditional religious leaders by teaching kids that homosexuality is normative, it's just like heterosexuality, and that anyone who would teach traditional sexual ethics is a bigot. I said, why would I put my children into an atmosphere like that to undermine everything that the church has taught them, everything that I, as a parent, have lovingly taught them? And he looked at me and he goes, oh, he said, I understand. And I hate those organizations too, but I can't do anything about it. That told me a lot. The imposition from above of this godlessness, it is powerful and even wonderful people at the lower level of administration and teaching have, have a, no means by which to throw off this. And therefore, really, it's time to shine them all on, have nothing to do with them whatsoever. These schools collaborate with now with the entertainment industry in propagandizing our children and filling their minds with horrible thoughts of uh, immorality and calling evil good, something that brings the curse of the prophets uh, upon them. Woe to those who call good evil and evil good, which is exactly what they're doing. 
They're horrible parents, and therefore they shouldn't have access to our children at all. There are no parents at all, and therefore we who are true parents have to exercise wisdom and expose our children to beautiful things. Keep our children away from the corruptors and nourish them with beauty. I hope Disney will share the fate of Bud Light and that uh, both of these businesses will experience permanently uh, the temporary business collapse that they have uh, had recently. And it's also a time to turn into beautiful children's entertainment like Patristic Nectar Kids. This is one of the reasons that we started PNP Kids. And there's lots of great material coming out now. Uh, Ancient Faith Radio has a new kids program. The Daily Wire is in, has invested millions and millions in, of dollars in healthy uh, kids programming. Let's be wise and nourish our children uh, with beautiful entertainment in the right amount and to the nourishment of their souls. And let's protect them from this awful, awful corruption that the entertainment industry is pushing down their innocent throats. May God protect all of our kids and shine his warmth upon them and nourish their beautiful souls with truth. God be with you. Patristic Nectar Publications is pleased to present Enduring Love, Laying Christian Foundations for Marriage. Marriage preparation together with the sacred institution itself, has fallen on hard times in the post-Christian West. It is more important than ever for couples to saturate their hearts and minds with the glorious vision of holy matrimony presented by the church in holy tradition and lived by countless saints. Here in these pages, couples will find inspired teaching from the holy scriptures, the writings of the holy fathers, and the service text of the sacrament itself on how to live in a genuinely Christian marriage in which the home becomes a domestic church. Through enduring love, may God inspire the hearts of those preparing to be married and also those already married who would like to deepen their union and render it more pleasing to God. Available now at Amazon and Barnes & Noble.